Good morning, Royal Beauties, and welcome back to another video. So, you guys, I'm so excited because in today's video, we are doing something extravagant, something fun, exciting, giving the girls very much body, giving the girls very much beauty, giving the girls very much it girl, okay? Because in today's video, we are going to be going to something in the water, okay? Now, if you know, you know, and if you don't know, google it baby because i went to the first one and it was a movie i didn't vlog that time but this time i will be recording every single day so you guys can see how fun and exciting something in the water is but if you don't know what that is it's basically a huge concert thrown by for real and you have like 50 artists coming to perform for the whole weekend so it's kind of like a um a mini coachella or like a mini um summer jam or whatever they call it but it's like a concert a really fun concert and i'm really excited and i'm going with my friends my mom is going to but she's going with her best friend we are going to be riding the shuttle that pharrell offered because in it's also going to be in dc so um in dc there's like ne never anywhere to park and it's always traffic so i felt like if we took the shuttle it'd be fine we could just uber if we want to go anywhere else but i remember from the first time in the water that we didn't really go anywhere else once we were there so i felt like there was no need for us to drive there so pharrell also said it's not going to be that many people on the bus because a lot of people didn't sign up so we're gonna have the bus to ourselves he said it's wrapped he was sending us personal emails making us feel special but anyway you guys so i'm about to um, start doing my makeup and uh yeah every day i want to do like a really glam look because it's a festival so you get to like show out and do fun stuff so let me show y'all the video of um the makeup i seen that wants that inspired me and i also have color lashes that i'm gonna be wearing Ooh, give it to me but um this is what i want to do not these colors but i like i like the way she did it also i got these press ones from shein they match my outfit perfectly It's giving. I definitely want to do that. Doesn't look too hard. So, yeah, y'all, let's get into it. I'm never running late, but today I was the late one, and my makeup is finally finished. But look who's here! Hi, Hi. my mom's there. Hi. Hi. But once I get a little less chaotic, I'm vlogging again. But for now, I just want to show y'all the look. We're on our way to the shuttle. Yeah, and we're the only one, so it's like exclusive. <laughs> There's the bus. Ooh. Okay, cheetah print. Here's a better look at my makeup, y'all. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. I can give y'all a close up. Wait. Oh, look at her. Okay, you're about to do a TikTok in front of the bus. Okay, y'all. Ooh. You want to be in the front? Yeah. Period. nothing to play with. Wait, this is be a whole problem out here. Is all. making us look like glazed donuts. Who's outside for five seconds? All right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> look, you guys. Wait, guys. Ooh. This is what it's all about. Oh, 
Just before we go out there, we're gonna see how they look when I get back. They're looking all cute right now. I know they will see. <laughs> hey, my hey, y'all. That my friends just flipped up on me, y'all. They look real cute. I love them. Look, hold on. Make sure it focus. Focus. There you go. Ooh, that's just a little sneak peek. That's all y'all getting. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at R O Y A A L underscore beauty. Royal beauty if you're not already. But we about to get an Uber on the way to um something in the water because it's like a 35 minute walk. And who about to walk? We already sweating. Look at my mouth. <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? Because every time I watch your vlogs, I know you see some <laughs> crazy stuff like that. It'd be funny. Yeah, but we gotta get an Uber because it's very hot out here. It's like 100 degrees. For those attendees in Bounce, I'll be fussing you guys in the tree gate. At 7th and, he just sent us a place for to come. Yeah, I just saw it on the app. 7th and 4th at Jessica for the quickest access. He's so confusing. I don't understand all these rules. Should I put that in? When he come, oh. He probably already know because he probably didn't picked up so many people. So hopefully. Oh, because when you get in the car, just tell them changes.
don't make no sense how freaking tight it is out here. Like, just look. It's so hard to move, it's so hot. It's crazy. My mom and my friends, my other friends. So we're gonna see Usher and then go see T.I. I mean, it's hot as hell up here, but I'm enjoying myself. Y'all make some noise if you're feeling real good right now. Hey, I got a question. How many of you guys um, were here the last time for real put on something in the world? Everyone here, we went in VA, right? Yeah! Amazing time. So amazing to have my brother for real put this amazing, inc incredible event together to come and share the love here in DC. Really happy, man, to, to be a part of this for the second time. You know, our brother Virgil was lost this year, and tonight I decided to wear a little off-white in tribute to him, man. I just, when we put the show together, I couldn't stop thinking about him and how amazing of an American, an American I am. It's not coming tonight, y'all, because it's 12 o'clock, and Pharrell wanted to end something in the water late at 12. He wanted to stop it at 12. And the performers were coming later than normal, so I guess T.I. gonna perform tomorrow. But they have merch in there that's super expensive, like $80, $60. So what I recommend is you not to buy any merch inside of the actual something in the water and wait until you're walking out because they have like vendors selling shirts that's way cuter than what they have at the something in the water. And let me show you what I got for $20. I got this super cute tie-dye shirt for $20 and the shirts that's inside of there are like at least 60 So I got this like really, really good priced. This is the front, it says something in the water. So much cuter than the merch that they have that they're offering and for the price though. Make sure you check out the vendors that are outside of the venue and you'll be straight. That's a wrap on today's video, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. I see you on day two of Something in the Water. Okay, One hour later. I finished my makeup, y'all. I'm not going to be like real hungry for me to like get some food because all that stuff was overpriced and wasn't giving yeah. anything. For real. Like, I'm not going to be like, oh, I'm going to get some food.
I mean, I think it was, it was for real applaud that they were skinning I mean, the vendors. But I mean, it's they do that on purpose. We had a restaurant called the Lincoln, you guys. About to eat breakfast. Good morning, you guys. Good morning. Potatoes are good. Be right back on that brush. Say that we're good. Get some big chicken. Oh yeah, I'm gonna take this to go. You I might, finish on this. Put this way if you wanna put it. Oh yeah, I forgot. Yeah. Yeah. I think you some big chickens though, so I don't know about that. Is giving. I put on these press on nails, y'all. But let me hear it because I'm not trying to get copyrighted. But this is the look. Selfie. I'm gonna take a selfie. But first, let me take a selfie. But first, let me take a selfie. Look at this one, y'all. I'm not giving you anything. I am not looking my best. Of course, you want to be in there? He said he's not looking so out. Hey, Arsenal. I'm out here, man. We're gonna win this shit. We're gonna, gonna win it, period. We're gonna win this shit next year. 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 We're gon
against the world We stay up until the sunrise Sometimes you get angry at Things get dangerous Can't get up and get on my ride Three years seems like forever When you sit and think about it I put my heart out on my sleeve But I can't live without it We can't keep no light to light on Too much time about to pull back out your condo Sunshine's made for chillin', that's the motto Do we really wanna take it there? I scream, you scream, we can never play it fair Thought you're on my team, don't you ever dare Bitch me, cause you know I'm your favorite player If you wanna, we can take it there Like I had heels on all day. Like I'm walking with a limp. 
But I thought Pharrell was gonna bring out somebody special, like we was hoping Drake or Beyonce or something crazy, but he just had everybody who was on the lineup, so it wasn't nobody uh, extra like I wanted it to be. But we still got tomorrow, so we're gonna see. Okay, y'all, it's day three of Something in the Water. It's the last day. This is my makeup look for the day. Period, get into it. With the color lashes and the glitter, eyeshadow. And this is my outfit, this dress. I tried to get some pictures, but they came out okay. Azani looked really cute in her outfit. Peep her Pharrell shirt, okay, she yeah, ready. skateboard peep. <laughs> I might you look cute too. <laughs> Can you too?
So you guys, I'm back home, back in the 75, back in VA, period. And Summer in the Water was so fun. The only recommendation I think that should change is bringing it back to Virginia. If he doesn't want to have it in Virginia Beach, I totally understand, but I feel like it could be in another, we have another beach, we have Ocean View, so it's not like he can't have it on another beach and that's not Virginia Beach because we have another beach. And he brings food trucks and all of that to this uh, festival, so I feel like having it on another beach at Ocean View or somewhere else, I just don't wanna drive all the way to DC. We were on like these tiny streets. I felt like it wasn't enough space. I felt like we had more space at the first something in the water with the strip. It was like open air, just a lot more space, and it just felt cramped. And I didn't like um, how it just seemed like the workers there didn't really wanna do their job. Like when you were trying to exit easily versus cutting through all of those thousands of people they would make you go all the way through the people instead of the sides i felt like some things need to change but overall it was a lot of fun i'm gonna go over the pros and the cons of something awarded this year so let's start with the cons so that we can end on a positive note so my cons would be um it's 
limited space i feel like it's, it wasn't enough space just because dc isn't a place where they have like space for big events and big huge crowds so i feel like it was crowded more crowded than the first one a second con is i don't really like how the workers act like they don't really want to do their jobs like if you ask them to do something first most of them don't know the answer to your questions like i was asking where the bathrooms was they didn't know or the workers had an attitude or you only got to exit from the side if it was an emergency like if you was having a medical emergency or something like that and then yesterday when um tyler the creator was performing and i was sitting down on the side one of the workers was trying to get me to leave and I'm like, I paid my money to be here all weekend for as long as I want, as long as the performance I perform. I'm not leaving right now. Like, I'm gonna leave when it's over. So that was weird. Um, another con is, I think those are the main cons. Like, it's, it's not enough space. The workers act like they don't really want to do their jobs. They have attitudes. And I just don't like the fact that it's in DC. Like, it started in Virginia. It's a 757 thing. I feel like it should stay in Virginia at least. But I understand why he moved it. I just prefer for it to be here um anyway let's move on to the pros the pros is the food is the oh another con the food you know what it's not a con pros the food is really delicious there are so many different food options for you to choose from it is a bit um overpriced but obviously you can expect that because they know you're gonna buy it because you're hungry and it's all you can eat you can't bring food in there and you can't um bring any waters anything like that you have to bring empty bottles no liquids at all so they know you're gonna eat and drink there and um it was a vibe obviously you have i had a great time with my friends and i'm so happy that i saw all of the performers and um what was i about to say i was about to say something else um i still have glitter on my face too from when i did my makeup it won't come off so <laughs> but um more pros let me think i don't know it was a vibe it was a vibe. I just feel like it was kind of, it wasn't as good as the first one. He didn't bring out extra people that wasn't really on the lineup like the first time. Like the first time he had Jay-Z, like a whole bunch of people that wasn't on the lineup. They didn't come to the DC one, but it's cool. It was still a good time. I just feel like I should let y'all know that just in case you're thinking about going next year. Like some of the things that they could work on and tweak a little bit. But yeah, I just wanted to make sure I told you guys that. My, give you my two cents of the festival. And yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend about Life with Lex. And hopefully I'll see you guys at the next something in the water next year, 2023. Bye. Yeah.